Sean Cummings here from the Gourmet Grill at Bifrolesse. And today, it's a Memorial Day, so we want to make something pretty simple and pretty good. We're, we're going to do a grilled vegetable platter with some grilled potatoes, everything you would ever need, as well as some grilled Italian sausage. I've done bratwurst, I've done bacon wrap bratwurst, I've done beer with onion bratwurst, all this other stuff. So it really kind of overplayed the bratwurst thing. So today, I'm going to just grill Italian sausage, we'll finish it off in the oven. I want to slice them into smaller pieces and put them on with a bunch of grilled uh, other vegetables and stuff. Secret, olive oil and garlic, fresh salt and pepper. We roll all that in it, we throw it out on the grill and make it look gorgeous and it will get eaten first. Trust me, just because it looks, can't help but to eat with your eyes. All right, so stick with us. The thing about getting this ready is just having your vegetables ready. I grabbed an assortment of them. The funniest thing, a big old bag of these yellow, I mean these little cool potatoes. I may boil those off first and just throw them on the grill for a sec. Okay, now you know the best thing to do with garlic is just put it down, press on it, and it will all just peel right off, nice and simple. So I've done a ton of that. Now I don't want you to get nervous about what vegetables to use or not use. Use whatever is fresh. Now what we're gonna do first is get our, uh, all this garlic chopped. Yes, this is a lot of garlic. It's okay, mainly for flavoring this olive oil. You're gonna do just fine with it. So this is one bulb of garlic. Bulb, meaning every bit of the bulb. Just chop. Say about a teaspoon of black pepper. Don't worry about overdoing that. It's gonna get spread out amongst the vegetables. And then maybe a tablespoon of salt. And I know that sounds like a ton. I have a lot of vegetables here. And I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to get a fair amount ready. Now this is just our marinade. Because the next thing, all we're doing is cutting vegetables. And then we're going to toss this over them, toss them in, and grill them. And we're ready to go. This is just the vegetable cutting part of this whole thing. You want them to be big enough for people to be able to get a couple of bites out of. But don't go crazy. Green onions, I actually keep those whole, but I get rid of the ends because they look like grody little hairs hanging off of them. Get rid of your rubber band, that's what you want right there. Green beans, green beans are awesome on the grill. You wouldn't think so, but they absolutely are. Got peppers, and then on your corn, you know, you never know, there's some young people watching maybe. Get all this hair stuff off of here. Leave a few of the pieces around your corn. That way when you grill them, they'll protect it, okay? Lovely tomatoes. Jalapenos, you just throw them on hold. Just do a few of them. People will really like those. And then on these, the way I do them is I do bigger pieces going this way. sticker on there somewhere. There you go. Make sure your stickers come off. That would not be good. Eggplant are one of my favorite vegetables. If you're not used to them, cut off the front and the back. Eggplant really just need to peel like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some people leave the peel on. You cannot eat the peel. It is that. Uh, doesn't work, man. Good luck with it if you want to try. Um, usually it'll be a little bit bitter because we're not going to soak it in salt water and all that stuff. But do your eggplant long and thin. Some people will cut it sideways this way. I like mine long and thin. There we go. All right, that's what we're working with. I'm going to throw it in this bowl right here. We'll get our uh, olive oil and garlic on it. All right, drop all these in. Everything goes in. Our mix goes over the top like this. And get all of it in there. Don't waste any of that. That stuff is awesome. And this is all you do. Make sure the eggplant gets good and coated. That's one of the ones that I run them along the side. Make sure I get the olive oil in there. Because they are really important that they do. 
and this is what you got when you're done. I don't know if you can see that. Very corn like so. We're ready to cut. Yeah, the potatoes have been boiling for about four minutes. They're probably ready to go. Italian sausage is already on the grill, and now I'm going to throw everything else on. Now, literally, you just throw the vegetables on. But I want to have a pattern to these so that I can get grill marks on. Especially my eggplant. Now those are the grill marks I'm talking about. That probably took about three minutes on high heat. Now a lot of this is just checking. See if it's got grill marks. Not really grill marks. Good grill marks. You just flip them over and let that work. But don't, don't play with them too much. Doing well. Alright, now some of these are actually ready to be pulled off. See that? All the way down. Done. Done. These are where I want them to be. So most of these are done, but I've got some with very little grill marks on them. So we're just looking to get a little more grill marks on them. The secret with your Italian sausage is to make sure it's actually cooked. This stuff is nearly done, but you always want to crack it open like that, make sure it's not red inside. And you remember the potatoes I told you about, here they come. So give them a minute on there, I'm going to pull these sausage off too. Alright, so now let me show you how to plate this. Now the truth is, this is not a hard dish to make, and it's not even a hard dish to plate. You just want to put your corns on the outside. And remember, they've got those grody little hair sticking off of them. So now we'll take all my potatoes and put them on one side, a little bit on the other. And then really and truly, it's a matter of just plating. I'll give you a close-up here in a minute. Sausage I'm going to hold off until the end. And I want all the more bland vegetables to go down here. Drop those in. Green onions, stuff like that. You want that to all hang up to the side. So this is really the trick to this whole thing. Bland vegetables all in the middle, no worries. Everybody will still eat them. They just go down into the middle. And then all the colorful stuff goes up here on top. Now, if people are vegetarians where you're at, serve it like it is. If they're not, let's go ahead and get this sausage ready and I'm just gonna put it on top. You don't need more than bite size, okay? Because people really don't need to eat that much meat. This is a gorgeous dish. And I don't care who you are, you go to this picnic, you are the hit. Now that is a grilled vegetable play. And for these and more recipes, buy for less okay .com. Thanks for joining us. Happy Memorial Day.